Hey, this is Professor Perez again. Today, we're gonna do Applications of Presents. And of course, we can't get started without Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready to go? Yeah. What, are you tired? Yeah. Okay, today we're doing Applications of Percent. Woohoo! Oh, you think this is fun, what? huh? Well, you better get this down, otherwise you'll be back what? next semester. Huh? Uh-huh. Here we go, Charlie. Right here. Applications of percent. Now, pay attention, Charlie, and write this down twice. We can use the following structure to solve many percentage problems. And that's the structure we're going to use today. Now, pay attention, Charlie. Remember this. A percent of a total is a portion. Now, write that down twice. Okay, now we're going to break it down into an equation. Watch. A percent of a total is a portion. So there's our structured format right there. Now, here's our first problem right there. Now, a basketball player successfully makes 82 out of 120 free throws. What is the player's successful free throw percentage, Charlie? All right, now, here's our format. A percent of a total is a portion. And so in this problem, Charlie, our percent represents the percent of free throws that are made. And our total is our total free throws, and our portion here is the successful free throws, okay? All right, Charlie, now, which one are we looking for? The percent, the total, or the portion? The percent. That's right, the percent free throws, because we want the free throw percentage. And so that will be our x. Our total free throws is how much, Charlie? 120. That's right, and what was our successful free throws? 82. Very nice, so there's our equation. X times 120 equals 82, and X times 120 is the same as what, Charlie? 120X. That's right. Now, how do we solve for X? Divide both sides by 120. That's right, 120s cancel, and get your calculator out, take 82 divided by 120, round to the nearest 10 thousandths, that's four decimal places. What'd you get, Charlie? 0.6833. 0 0.6833, very nice. And now, to change a decimal to a percent, what do we do? Move right twice. That's right, and so our answer is 68.33%. Very nice there, Charlie. So, that's the player's successful free throw percentage, right? Not bad. Okay, here we go, Charlie, let's do another one. Now, the population of a large city is 60% female. If the total population of the city is 584,855 people, how many females are in this population, Charlie? Now, here's our format. A percent of a total is a portion, right? Our percent female, right? We're given that percentage. Our total is the what? Total population. Total population. And our portion is the what, Charlie? Number of females. Number of females. Okay, Charlie, which one are we trying to find? The percentage, the total, or the portion? The portion. It is the portion because it's the number of females we're looking for in this total population. And so, our percent female, what's that, Charlie, as a decimal? 0 0.60. 0 0.60, very nice. What's our total population? 584,855. Very nice. And what do we put for the number of females? X. Because that's what we're trying to find. All right. Now, take out your calculator, Charlie. What's 0 0.60 times 584,855? 350,913. Very nice there, Charlie. And so that is our answer, 350,913 females. Now, Charlie, if that's the number of females, how do we find the number of males? Subtract. That's right, you subtract. And so take 584,855 and subtract. 350,913, what did you get? 233,942. That's right, very nice there, Charlie. All right, let's continue on, Charlie, now don't get scared. Now, at a community college, 32% of the graduating class took statistics. If 360 students from this graduating class took statistics, how many students are in the graduating class, okay? Don't get scared. Just read 
and translate. Watch, Charlie. Here's our format. Percent times total is a portion. Now, our percentage here is what, Charlie? Percent statistics. Percent statistics, that's right. Now, what's our total? Graduating students. That's the number of graduating students. And our portion? Statistics students. That's right. All right. Now, which one are we looking for, Charlie? The percent, the total, or the portion? The total. That's right, because the total graduating students, that number is what we're looking for. So, what's our percent statistics, Charlie, as a decimal? 0 0.32. That's right, 0 0.32. Now, graduating students, that's what we're looking for, so that's going to be our X. And our portion, Charlie, is the number of statistics students, which is what? 360. 360, that's right. Because we know there's 360 statistics students in that total graduating class. All right, now, so here's our equation, 0.32x equals 360. How do we solve for x, Charlie? Divide both sides by 0.32. That's right, and so those cancel. We get x equals what, Charlie? 1,125. 1,125, very nice, and that's the total graduating class. Very nice there, Charlie. Let's do one more right there. This is a mixture problem. Now, how much alcohol and water is in a 60 milliliter bottle of alcohol solution marked 35% alcohol? Remember, solutions are two things. In this case, it's alcohol and water mixed together, and there's a total of 60 milliliters, part of it's alcohol and part of it's water, right? So let's go back to our format. A percent times a total is a portion. And our percentage that we're given here is a what, Charlie? Percent alcohol. That's right. And what's our total? The amount of solution. That's the amount of solution, right? And our portion is the what? Amount of alcohol. Is the amount of alcohol, right? Because if we put percent alcohol, then we're, our portion is a amount of alcohol, right? Percent alcohol times the total solution will give us the amount of alcohol. You've got to remember that. All right. Now, which one are we looking for, Charlie? The percent, the total, or the portion? Portion. It's the portion because we're asked how much alcohol is in this solution. And so, what's our percent alcohol as a decimal, Charlie? 0 0.35. Very nice. Now, what's our total amount of solution? 60 milliliters. That's right. And the amount of alcohol is what we're looking for, so we'll mark that as X. And so, on the left-hand side, 0 0.35 times 60, and the right-hand side is x. So now, all we got to do is take 0 0.35 and multiply by 60. What'd you get, Charlie? 21. 21. So therefore, in this 60 milliliter bottle, there are 21 milliliters of alcohol. Well, Charlie, if there's 21 milliliters of alcohol, how much water is in there? Subtract 21 from 60. That's right. What'd you get? 39. That's right. And notice the two must add up to the 60. Very nice there, Charlie. And don't forget, if it was 35% alcohol, it means it was 65% water. All right. So we'll talk more about those later on. Anyway, we'll see you all again soon.